So this is our 10th anniversary uh, in this beautiful church of St. Catherine of Drexel that you have made possible. And we chose to begin the celebration on this great feast of the Eucharist, Corpus Christi, the body and blood of Christ. Rosemary Lonsbury has put together a beautiful guide to the windows in our church. Most of these windows came from St. Cecilia's and were reworked and preserved and beautifully uh, placed within our new church. But we'd like each family to have one of these guides. They're, they're just absolutely fantastic. If you could take a half hour or 45 minutes someday, it's a prayerful experience just to go from window to window. And Rosemary has uh, put an explanation, comments uh, about each one of the windows. Uh, and Sharon Norby, who's here, you worked with her very well, Sharon. Thank you so much. So you'll find them on this table and at the table that's at the front door and the side door of the church. So please, and then uh, pass them on to a member of your family or to a friend, because uh, they are just precious, just priceless. It's a wonderful way to begin uh, our, our 10th anniversary. And what we'd like to do uh, at this particular Mass, uh, at the very end, I'll put the Eucharist back in the monstrance and as we're singing, Holy God, we praise thy name, we'll pro profess, profess through the church. And then we're going to go outside. And we invite you to join us in procession. We're going to process over to the Stations of the Cross in the wooded area and walk through the Stations with the Eucharist. Uh, and it would be a wonderful way for us as, as a parish, as a parish community, to uh, begin great, this great anniversary. So, please, if you're free, uh, join us. I took care of the weather. Don't you think it's beautiful out there? Yeah. Now, God's given us a beautiful, beautiful morning uh, uh, for that. You know, uh, we are so grateful for the 40-hour devotion. So, parishioners were in this church from Friday morning all through Friday into Friday evening, all through the night. Saturday and right up to last night, and we're concluding it uh, this morning. So there were three, four, five, ten people at a time praying before the Eucharist. And our intention, our primary intention for the 40 hour devotion is for the grace, for the gift, to pass on the faith to the next generation. And, and there's no greater gift that we can give the next generation you know, than, than faith. For them to know God loves them, to know Jesus Christ personally, uh, and to have this great relationship, uh, and to open themselves to receive God's mercy and God's salvation. There's no greater gift than, 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 than that. So that's what we pray for, that God will work in and through us, and that the case of faith will rising, rising uh, for centuries, for centuries to come, until Christ uh, returns again in glory. So we truly, truly uh, pray uh, that the gift of faith uh, will, will grow ever, ever stronger, uh, especially within our families and, 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 and your dear and dear friends. We chose the uh, the Eucharist because. This is crucial. Uh, we, we pray the creed. We're going to pray the creed in just a, a few moments. And great theology and philosophy uh, together. Uh, but you know, the center of our faith is not words. It's not concepts. It's not creeds, as important as they are. The center of our faith is the Holy Eucharist. Vatican Council II tells us that the Eucharist is the source of our faith and the summit 
of our faith. So rather than having words, concepts as our center, we have a living flesh and blood encounter, experience with the risen Christ. This is the center of our faith. It, it, it's truly, truly, truly marvelous. The only Christ we have we know that. You know, the only Jesus we have is the risen Christ. Jesus died on Good Friday. He was raised up and he is now the risen Jesus Christ. And when we come forward to experience the Eucharist, we are receiving the risen Jesus Christ. The Alleluia verse says, this is the bread come down from heaven. This is the living bread come down from heaven. It's alive. It's the life of the risen Christ nourishing us. And, and, and it is so much of an experience. Take and eat. Take and drink. It means that we are united to God. We are united to the risen Christ. He's literally nourishing us, feeding us with his very risen life. One thing that has helped me is to know that uh, Jesus is Jewish. And he had, 2,000 years ago, this Semitic mentality. He was a Semite. And we think differently. We really think differently for good and for ill. But if we can be aware of the mentality, what words meant when Jesus spoke to them at the Last Supper. For example, when, when you hear the words body and blood, we divide. Our mind divides. And so we think of a body, maybe a corpse, and then blood separate from the body. Oh, what kind of blood do you have? I have A positive. Does anybody else have A positive? You do? Okay, no, no A positive. Well, it's not that common, is it? No. So, well, see, how, see how this is a scientific mind. This is great. It's given us medicine. It's given us technology. It's terrific. But the Semite mind is different. When it says body to the Hebrew. It meant the entire living person, totally. The entire living person was the body. So when Jesus says, this is my body, given to me, he's saying, this is I, this is me, this is I. Being give, I'm giving my whole life to you. I'm giving my entire self to you. And blood, I didn't think of whole blood or a positive. Blood meant life. Life. This is my blood shed for you. This is my life shed for you. That's what it meant. It's totally inclusive. It's much richer. So when you come forward, you are being nourished by the very life of the risen Christ. And his risen life is flowing into you and through you. There is no separation there. We're connected. I live in you. You live in me. There it is. I feed you with my very life, my total life. So when you come forward, you can go on your tongue if you wish, the body of Christ, amen. You may make a cross with your hand and receive our Lord, the King of Kings, on the cross of our hands, the body of Christ, amen. The blood of Christ, amen. If you're not a communicant, I know we have guests here and visitors, Come forward and simply cross your arms like this, and the Eucharistic ministers and myself will ask God's blessing upon you. Come forward. Just let us know. We'll be happy to call God's blessing down, down upon you. So what a wonderful, wonderful celebration, 10 years, and what a beautiful character. You're beautiful. You really are beautiful. I have a, a friend.
friends who will come and visit, and they'll say, oh, wow, what a beautiful church. You must have worked very hard. And I say, no, I inherited it. I did. So this is a, a true, you, you are a gift. This whole parish is a great, great gift. So let's really celebrate this Sunday. And you.